Welcome back everyone. I just want y'all to know that it is January 30th and we're about to film a March kit lineup because I have zero chill and no shame whatsoever. So um, I hope you all have a great February <laughs> and <laughs> it'll be a minute, a few weeks before you see this video, but I have the kits and I have some time right now. So we're gonna film and I'm ready to like, just lay down some spreads and I'm almost done laying down like all the bases for February. So like, why not just go ahead and go into March? So week one for March is February 27th through March 5th in planner one, which is my happy planner. I will be using this old B&R paper crafts Yoda, better off known as Baby Yoda kit because as all of the fans know, Mandalorian season three starts March 1st and I have been waiting for this. I don't know how many years it's been. I don't think it's been that long. I've been preoccupied with all the other TV that everybody is putting out but I am excited and I am save I was saving this kit just for that and how perfect it's green it's in March and when I pick my March kits I usually just pull everything that has a hint of green just that's just how I do it so this is an old format from BNR paper crafts um this is on her regular matte paper I think she has well, I know she has upgraded to glossy and premium matte at this time. So we get these nine full boxes, this washi, which I'm pretty sure I probably won't use. You have your date covers and some glitter labels at the bottom there. All of the labels and boxes, your checklist, some doodles. You have a little sidebar tracker down there and a script some checklists which I won't use, four additional full boxes, just all the baby Yoda, yep, baby Yoda love, your date dots, some more sidebar items in a movie marquee, have our glitter header, some little things and flags, this is washi, and functional headers, more labels, so yeah, Perfect for my happy planner and the perfect kit to mark the Mandalorian because when I think of the Mandalorian, all I think of is Baby Yoda. So that is week one. Where am I going to put these? Okay, so week two, I am using another kit that I've had for a minute. This Toy Story kit from Pretty Sheepy. And all of the sheets are like different sizes. Um, this is old. I'm sure she has um, updated her format as well. But that's why I like this Happy Planner. I'm just using up lots of old kits. So this is a glossy paper and it is just so pretty. The colors just jump out. Love these patterns. And then we have our bottom washi with the clouds some washi strips, some checklists. I may use a couple of these in the sidebar. Have your um, boxes, functional headers. I love this like Buzz Lightyear washi strip at the bottom. Checklist flags, that weekend banner font is pretty cool. Oh, just all different sizes. <laughs> we have some date dots your date covers, um, what's it called? Glitter headers, some scripts, just big and bulky. Oh, and then she threw in two sheets of that. And then there is this deco sheet, which is cute. And I could use this maybe for like a monthly. Yeah, no, every time I see a deco sheet, I'm like, oh, I could use that for a monthly. So, what I love about these full boxes is that they have patterns, so they are perfect for foil full box boxes. So I have these from Planner Hannah in silver. I use one of those. Did I use? Yep. 
And so I am going to probably put one on every single box because it's not like it's going to be covering anything super significant, which I love because I don't like covering up like detailed football, full boxes um, with foil. But this is perfect for me to use all those fun full boxes. So that is week two, which is March 6th through March 12th. And then week three, March 13th through the 19th, I have this old printable. All these I printed out years ago when I was like crazy for printables and cutting them out and everything. And I still cut them out when I use them. So I haven't even seen Shazam, but I cut this out when the first movie came out. And this is a Victoria Thatcher printable. Um, so the second movie comes out like March 17th, I believe, and I'm going to watch the first one and maybe go see the second one in theaters, depending on how much I like the first one. I'm sure I will because I'm a sucker for a little superhero movie. So that is week three. Ooh. Week four, I have a Slytherin kit i probably have some full box overlays that go with this as, as well i need to like look into that actually so this is from sticker geek designs who unfortunately is no longer open i think it goes this way but i've had her house kits well their house kits for a while i have all four i think I think I used one, but yeah, had to use the Slytherin one in March. So you get your full boxes, your washi, um, six half boxes, checklists, and then your functional items. Just a simple four page mini kit format from Sticker Geek Designs. So that is week four, March 20th through the 26th. I don't know if that's house week. I should look that up. Because I may be able to actually use a kit for House Week. This um, Harry Potter House Week is in March, for those of you who don't know. And I may be able to use that and like switch some weeks around. I'll have to see. So for the final week, which is March 27th through April 1st, April 2nd, um, I have some leftovers from the Glam Planner Mystery. This is like one of her spring cleaning ones that was like primarily green so everybody that I know used it in March including myself and her mysteries were loaded so you can easily get two spreads out of it so here are my leftover full boxes I have like dang near a whole sheet of labels and then this was just some like leftover foil that I have from all different places so this is from Pink Diamond Planner Co I have a little one from Planner Hannah and so then I have additional tall boxes and just lots of functional items, like way more than I'd ever need for my happy planner. This bread was really cute. I did it um, last year, last March. And then this is the foil that came with the kit, which I can go ahead and toss this because I'm not going to use it. But that is in dark green as well. It was a whole green situation. So yeah, that is that kit. I don't know if she names her mysteries, but it was cute. All right, so that is to finish up March in my happy planner. Planner number two is my work planner. So I actually have the kit that I want to use for a monthly which is just this is from simply sweetly crafty and it is the Doug kit I don't think I've ever seen a Doug kit but she is on a roll with these um, pop culture kits especially like cartoons from the 80s and 90s just like so much good stuff and you can buy her kits a la carte. Use the Marche 20 to save. As always, my coupon codes are below. So I just got a couple of sheets, the full boxes. And what I love about these, because this is her typical format. Like she gives you some pattern boxes and then some um, boxes with the pictures. 
So if you had like some really detailed overlays, those would go perfectly. So, so like Miss Planet Hannah did some Doug overlays, which I'm sure she would make for you if you wanted them. <laughs> you have four boxes you can use it on and then just lots of boxes to mark all kinds of things in my monthly. And then to really set it off, I got the deco sheet as well. She's been releasing the deco to go with the collections. Um, so if you were just doing like a Doug rewatch, you could use this to mark the show, just all the ideas. So I think I'm just gonna use these um, decorative full boxes to layer this on top. It's gonna be cute. Y'all will see if you follow me on Instagram at Honeybee Plans. But yeah, that is for my March monthly and my work planner. And I like to, you know, go all out because I use that very functionally since it's for work. So week one, we are back to February 27th through March 5th. I have this kit that I've had for so long. Oh, it's so long. Okay. So this is the Cardi B plan, the Golden Plans Co. Cardi 2.0 Finesse Kit. Y'all, this is so old. So, so old. How is Golden Plans Co. still around? I don't know. But this is like thick, 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 thick premium matte paper. And I fell in love with this kit because I love me some Cardi, but I also love a colorful 90s nostalgia type situation. And that's what these patterns gave me. So, yep, I am just going to go ahead and use this in March. Got that green. That's all a kit needs to be in my merch lineup. Is <laughs> some green in it. So, yeah, this, oh, this paper is so thick. <laughs> oh, that's going to be fun. Okay, so this is week one. And then because it's not, wait, do I have headers in this? I have a little bit. Okay, so I may not even need to bring in the header. So I got some stuff. So I got three sheets of these label samplers with the headers in black from Scribble Prince Co. This is from the Seasons Creepings collection. What season? Yep, Seasons Creepings. But we'll see if I use those. But you, like, I mean. If you see a black sampler, label sampler, go ahead and pick you up a few because you can use that for a lot of stuff. So then I also got the paint splatter underlays from um, Planet Hannah in Rainbow. This is my first time, I think, seeing her rainbow foil and it is really pretty. So that is perfect. And if you've seen the finesse video, you get the vibes. So this is going to be very cute for week one. Week two in my work planner, I have this whole lineup in this work planner. It's just super fun. But I will tell you now, I will be pulling in extras. That's what I know for sure. I have the Powerline collection from Simply Me Quiche and so cute from a goofy movie so here is the kit the standard vertical kit she offers her kits in i think at least three different formats i believe so this is just the standard vertical so cute got your boxes and then i had to add on which way does it go the bottom washi and then I bought the like concert ticket as well. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, I don't know how I'll incorporate this into the spread, but give me time and I will make it happen. So yeah, I will be pu pulling in extras. Um, definitely using that journaling card because it's just so cute. I'm gonna be pulling in extras because I got these doodles underlays from Plana Hannah in Purple Hollow or like lavender hollow to use sorry for like trying to blind y'all <laughs> to use with the kit and i just feel like it's so cute because when i think of like doodling i think of being in school so that 
is going to be week two and then week three like it just keeps getting more better and better <laughs> week three i have another simply me kish kit simply me kish kit and this is the heroes in a half shell which is the ninja turtles collection love 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 it so you get what eight seven full boxes and then these are like functional headers um these are decorative headers at the bottom and then you have more decorative headers i just love the date covers and boxes half boxes and then third boxes i added on the functional sheet as well so we have some circles and more half boxes and then of course you have to add on the bottom washi and she threw in these freebies like the popsicle that's just classic right there and then i got these sparkly gold underlays from planner hannah and brick i thought about getting the subway tile but i've just been wanting to use the brick pattern like i just wanted to use it and i wanted to be fun so i got it in sparkly gold so that is week where are we on y'all three or four maybe four three okay so week four we have a new to me well my first time using a kit from this shop and it is a little spark so cute this is that like nostalgia art that came out last year that had like two different colorways i love her version of this kit because it's like the only one that i personally have seen that was heavy on that lime green co um, color and i just think it's so pretty i don't have any underlays to go with this i don't know if i want to use underlays i may have to shop my stash because i don't feel like ordering anything honestly but yeah this is fully loaded kit date numbers date cover two sets of date covers so you have some options half boxes little things functional headers these colors are just so vibrant and just make me so happy yellow makes me happy look at the washi with the game boys the glitter headers these doodles just so fun i love the sparks and then is that an additional full box it is so really nice 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 and then she threw in the fashion sheet as well as the deco sheet so it's going to be fun to plan with that for week four Four. and then to finish it all off we have a little bit of a color change but going to use this shrek kit from simply water color co so this is just more subdued it's not like in your face like the other colors that i'm using this month but i love it still it's foiled in gold and i love shrek we need more shrek kits in the planner community so love it you get those nine full boxes this washi is just so pretty date covers some headers those little heart boxes which would be cool to layer this is like a whole layering sheet you have some um headers over here and some flags more layering floral pieces at the top boxes really really pretty so that is what i will be using in my work planner and then last but not least we have the memory planner so week one we have scribble prints co my fave hold on so i have the cottage core kit 
which is just perfect for March. See, a lot of people use this in March, and yeah, like most of us have the same idea. Just pull it into March. So cute. Love this tall box. Love the florals in her hair. These colors are so nice. I love like that color combo with those like dusty purples. Very nice. And this is an ultimate kit. And this kit is still available in the shop if you are interested. Look at this bottom washi. That's so pretty. You get two additional full boxes here, an additional color, and all the boxes you will ever want. Love this. Um, it's the same girl, so you get some options with hair and skin color. It's just a really gorgeous kit, and then they paired it because it came in like the um, like a bundle a mystery kit bundle and it was paired with this rose floral foil bundle so you get your two sheets of overlays two sheets of underlays your functional sheet with your doodles and some scripts nice little weekend banner there and then this is so pretty the spc bow is my favorite can't say it enough it is my favorite bow so yeah, this is going to pair very nicely with this kit. And then for week two, I have this Princess Tiana inspired kit from Glam Planner. It took me like a long time to buy this. I've had it for a, a while now, but I remember when it came out and I was like, do I like this kit? And then over time, as I saw people wear it down, I was like, yeah, I think I need to go ahead and buy this. She's really cute. You have the frog. Frog. I love this double box. You got your beignets. It's just, you know, all the New Orleans vibes. And I love all the green. So, use that in March. You could use this for Mardi Gras if you want. I don't know where Mardi Gras lands this year. But it is a really nice kit. And then I had to add on the Tiana's Place double box and the glitter headers. This is the old format. I wonder if she'll bring this one back. And then I'm going to pair it with this green hollow foil bundle um, from Moonlight Paper Co. So you get two sheets of overlays and then your glitter headers are at the bottom. You get your bottom washi strips, date covers, like I love the dates, date dots, your hole reinforcers and little deco bits and your scripts and all these beautiful doodles and two sheets of underlays. Oh, it's so pretty. I love me a hollow fun foil. Like they are so pretty okay then we go back to SPC with um hold on y'all let me get it with the March 21 mystery the farmer's market market kit which I just went crazy over Ooh, I'm just messing up the lights and everything love this theme it's just so pretty and like springy and love it so this is the original version of that kit it was uh, yeah the mystery but i think this one came back to the shop too i don't know it should have if it didn't because I feel like it was very popular. Love these extra boxes. And then you have your 15 millimeter strip. And really cute. I don't have foil for this yet. Well, it's on the way. I'm going to use rose gold with this. Like a true rose gold from Happy Sticker Designs. And I am excited to see how it all comes out. And then we have another Glam Planner kit. 
This is, I call it the museum kit. Really cute. I love just like how white it is. I feel like it makes the other colors really pop. Ultimate kit. Just really pretty. The colors and then I just think the theme was just so different. I hadn't seen a lot of museum kits. I know they were around but I hadn't seen anything that looked like this and it came with all the extras so you had the double box which is this beautiful staircase with the paintings your label sampler these fashion dolls are so cute like i love both of them and then your glitter headers and then it came with some foil but i'm going to toss this because it's just not going to work, but I got another Moonlight Paper Co. foil bundle. Hold on. In, am I using gold? I'm pretty sure it's in gold. Yeah, in gold to use with this kit. So just overlays and underlays and glitter headers. And then I just threw went through my stash and got a bunch of little odds and ends leftovers just in case I wanted to pull some of these in lots and lots of choices there but yeah I'm really excited about all of these kits lastly for March 27th through April 2nd we have wizard shop from Paper Candy Art. This is a exclusive kit to their shop and I got it in the glossy format. I am using this this week because it is the day, I mean the week of April Fools and I just feel like that is the perfect week to use a kit that is based off of Fred and George's joke shop. So, had to do it. These colors are super cute, bright, vibrant, fun. And this theme was just really cute. It was like, okay. So I said, if I get this kit, I have to use it for April Fool's Day. And it is just so cute. I think she threw in an extra glitter sampler. So I got that. And then I got probably my favorite foil bundle of all time from Scribble Prince Co. Her Harry Potter foil bundle in gold. So this will be my second time using this. You get the same format, underlays, overlays, functional pieces. And then look at this. So pretty. So I am really hype about this. So that is everything for March. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.